Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Sunday, Sunday, February 25th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduces the number eight vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are working with the dragonfly energy and with the dragonfly energy to me um before even uh this card came out when i look at the energies in the day and it adding up and reducing to the number eight vibration and i think of like the tunnel vision of the number eight it brought me to the feeling of like a vacuum it's almost like something is sucking you into a certain space and like the dragonfly you have to be able to change your mind and not allow yourself to get absorbed or consumed in any specific thought. yeah in any specific thought. it's like um it's like being conscious of your mind and attention and knowing when it's time to go knowing when it's time to move on but for me, it's not a matter of physically going and moving on. It could be, or in certain situations, knowing when it's time to change the subject, knowing when it's time to move on from the conversation, or knowing when it's time to change your mind or focus your attention on something else is what I'm getting with the dragonfly energy. Because the feeling that just came to mind when I look at this, uh, when I clicked on today's energy, is like, say for example, something has come up and is happening within the family. And there might be some kind of misunderstanding or disagreeing, some, nothing major, it could be something simple. But based on the conversation, you could tell that maybe someone was trying to imply something in a certain way that could cause you to be offended if you're choosing to look for a reason to be offended. So it's like, it's easy to be offended if you're choosing to look for a reason to be offended, or you could easily look at it as, okay, that's how they see it. And you could try to understand why they would see it that way. Or you could say, that's how they see it, recognize that that's how they see it and just move on. But to me, it, the ball is in your court. So it's like whether you get swept up and consumed in something, um, it's up to you. Because what I'm getting with the energies in today, the moon is in Virgo. With the moon in Virgo, it's like someone taking up all this unnecessary ex responsibility, and this could be you. And then looking at everyone else as selfish because they don't feel the same way or they don't want to take on that responsibility or they want to leave you to all that responsibility because clearly you have the ability to respond while you're choosing to take it taking up on yourself in certain cases you know people might not realize that it's insecurities why they're choosing to take all that on themselves insecurities in the sense that feeling like things should look a certain way so because things should look a certain way, they're taking on a whole lot of burden and responsibility so they could present themselves in a certain way when at the end of the day, don't nobody really care. And even if they do care to gossip or talk about it, um, it says more about them and not what they're gossiping and talking about. Because, you know, I guess when I think about myself, like I have more pressing things to think about, like me and my family and things that matter opposed to uh judging and criticizing how someone chooses to live their life like i got better things to do like live my own you know so a lot of the times we're driven by what people will say and what people think and that's all insecurity 
you know, and from insecurity, we'll go, up, go broke trying to impress people that can't even see us to begin with. So there's something about that coming up today. Something about that coming up today. Someone wants to take on the responsibility, even be mar mar martyrs, sacrifice themselves. And to a certain extent, like wanting to hold others um, responsible or accountable to do the same thing. And it's like, no, that's your choice. You chose to do that. You do that if you want to do that. But don't sign everybody else up for it and then make them feel guilty because they don't feel the same way. So with the dragonfly energy, to me, you know, it brings me to, you know, changing one's mind. So I think of the situation of like the funeral or the party or whatever. It could even be a situation at work where it's someone's birthday. And, you know, someone's like, okay, well, everybody chip in and get a gift for $25 or whatever. And someone else is like, but that's too cheap. We should do this. Like you do that if you want to do that, but don't hold everybody else to it. And then people have to be confident in themselves to not allow other people to shame them into submission. I feel like that could be a thing with the energy in today where it's like out of shame, somebody's going to do what they really don't want to do because of how it looks how it looks, what everybody else thinks, what everybody else will say. When it comes to the tarot, we have the five of cups in the reversal position. And I love that the five of cups is in the reversal position because first of all, I see a pattern with the number five energy um, and then the dragonfly. The reason why, because the dragonfly, they're known for being able to switch uh, switch. Uh, directions while flying at top speed. That brings me to the number five energy dealing with sudden and unexpected changes. But to me, the whole sudden and unexpected aspect of life is really a blessing. To me, that's like the glitch in the matrix and it brings in opportunities, but in ways that we didn't imagine. But with this card in the reversal position, it brings me to someone being able to acknowledge the fact that they don't need to get lost in what's lost already you know they're able to turn around and focus on what's actually working so the dragonfly energy it brings me to you know recognizing that i could easily get swept up in this negative thought or negative emotion or this back and forth or i could easily just focus my attention on something else because it's unproductive it's it's just unnecessary you know, so I love that energy for us when it comes to today, where it's like something comes up that could be a pressing matter, but we choose to not allow it to consume us. We choose to not allow it to get the best of us. We choose to focus our attention on where we want to focus our attention on. But there is this very introspective. So today has a combination of things where with this person, there's an introspective vibe to the day. You know, the day is the 25th, 2 plus 5 is 7. So there's an emotional and an introspective vibe to the day. But then the number 5 like this, then there's also a sudden and unexpected vibe. So it's like, to me, things are moving fast. Things are changing fast, but everybody is zoomed in within themselves. So this is where it's almost like most of us are operating as robots on cruise control. So this is where, you know, you can't take anything personal. Um, but at the same time, it's almost like everybody is too much within themselves anyways to fully address things head on. So it's like people are saying things, but they're not really saying it. It's like they're saying something, but they're not really saying something. Or they find themselves reading in between the lines and filling in the blanks. And boy, that could be so dangerous, filling in the blanks for people. Because when we fill in the blanks for people, we leave ourselves having expectations and holding people to things without their permission. So when it comes to today, the sun is the ruler of the day. The sun positively aspects Mercury and Saturn in Pisces. I feel like with the sun being there, it really helps with communi with Mercury, with, uh, with Saturn being there. It really helps with the communication and makes it harder to just tell ourselves the stories that we want to tell ourselves and then hold other people accountable for it. That's positively aspecting Jupiter and Taurus. So it brings me to this optimism when it comes to security and stability pertaining to family values. The moon is in Virgo. And, you know, like I mentioned, the moon is in a place where we're super analytical. It's positively aspecting Uranus and Jupiter. 
in Taurus. So the inner world, like the Sun, Mercury, Saturn, is in the place where we're identifying, communicating, and reflecting on ways to be more secure and stable. But with the moon opposing Neptune and Pisces, you know, the inner world is in a place where we don't want to go into ourselves and get the answers that come from within. So this is where we could be asking everybody what they think, even though we don't like what it is that we're hearing, because what it is that we're hearing, we don't resonate with it. We don't remember because it's not true to us. But at the same time, moon and Virgo, we're more consumed and concerned with the way how things look on the outside to the point that we're willing to abandon how we truly feel on the inside. And with the day adding up or reducing to the number eight energy, the number eight also ties into that. So when it comes to today's vibes, you know, it just brings me to where is your attention focused and how is it making you feel? Where's your attention focus and how is it making you feel? And if you don't like the way how something is making you feel, you can easily redirect your attention somewhere else. I know it sounds easier said than done if it's not something you practice on a regular basis, but if you make an, a habit of redirecting your attention onto things that make you feel good, it becomes easier and easier over time. Because what's the point of choosing to punish yourself over what's already gone? So yeah, when it comes to the energies in today, lots of sudden changes and things being driven by emotion, um, emotion causing a lot of sudden and unexpected changes. But when it's all said and done, you know, check in with yourself and ask yourself, what do I have the ability to respond to? And am I forcing myself to respond to something I don't have the ability to respond to? Because whenever we do that, you know, this is where we find ourselves experiencing anxiety and seeing ourselves in the in the world in a way that is limited, is restricted. But like, yeah, overall, though, um, overall, though, um, the biggest thing for me is, yeah, the whole responsibility part. You know, the example that I gave about uh, one person feeling like things should be one way. And it's like, if you want all the extras, then you pay for it. Um, yeah, if you want all the extras because it would look this way, then you pay for it. You do it. You take it on. It is that kind of vibe. And not feeling shame to say, um, this is what makes sense. This is what we're all agreeing on. And if you see that you want things to look or be a certain way, um, you do that part and, you know, you could gladly take credit for it, but it just, the energies in today brings me to that where it's like being pulled into someone else's fantasy world that's completely unnecessary. Yeah. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me, or check out my exclusive contents available only on Patreon, along with becoming a part of the monthly meetup group. The link to book and Patreon are both within the description box below. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a pink heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.